themselves, you know, straightforward stuff. Just a reminder, it's country name and then a dash and then your school name. Yep. Oh, I need to rename myself too. Just to quickly gauge time, I think we're waiting on like nine people right now. How much time do you guys think you need until your resolutions are finalized? Just shout it out. Yeah, just unmute yourself or put in the chat. Like 10 to 15 minutes, probably. All right, cool. all right, that's good. Yeah, uh, I think, there's about, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I think I'd be more on like the 15 end. Sure, sure, okay. Um, let's see, so there are four blocks right now, right? Uh, I think it's three. Well, it's three okay. blocks. Is Molly here right now or like Poland? Yeah, I'm I here. Okay, so I know that you have a resolution with Poland, I think. Yeah, uh, Poland's going to come back at two. He had to leave so, for something. So technically, there's four resolutions on the table right now, correct? There's the care one, the education one, and then there's um, block two and block six. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, since no one corrected me, I'm going to assume that I'm right. So um, four resolutions on the table right now. Uh, again, none of the resolutions have been submitted yet. So please submit them. We would like to start introducing, right our goal is to start introducing resolu our working papers by 115. Yeah, and then from there, we'll maybe do some more. We'll see how we want to proceed from there. Okay, I think we're waiting on three-ish people. Yeah, I think like four, three, four months. Yeah. Can, um, are we doing attendance? Yeah, I'll do that. Because sure. I have the spreadsheet up. Okay, uh, Poland will be late, yeah. Okay, so I think we'll wait like two more minutes. Yeah. Reminder, change your name to your country name, dash your school name. Oh, actually, Anna, you can go ahead and start the uh, roll call now. We'll add them when they come back. All right, cool. Um, Argentina. Uh, present. Uh, you were present oh, and voting last time. Okay, cool. Um, Austria. Present. Bangladesh. Bhutan. Canada. Present voting. Chile. Um, Colombia. Czech Republic. Present in voting. Dominican Republic. Present in voting. El Salvador. President voting. Finland. Present in voting. France. Present. Germany. Present. Iceland. Present. Ireland. Present. Israel. Present. 
Jamaica. Present. Um, Kosovo. Present and voting. Latvia. Present and voting. Luxembourg. Present. Malaysia. Mali. Present. Moldova. Monaco. Present. Uh, Myanmar. Netherlands. Niger. Present. Oman. Present. Peru. Present. Poland. Oh yeah, Poland's gonna be tardy. Okay, Romania. Present. Saudi Arabia. Uh, present. Um, United Arab Am Emirates. Present. United Kingdom. United States. Vietnam. Present. Okay. okay, cool. All right. So before we begin, I just actually no. Let's first um reopen the de reopen debate. Can I get a motion for that, please? Monaco? Motion to reopen debate. Okay. I will not be taking any other motion at this time. Uh all those in favor or opposed, you know, do your thing. All right, yeah, this passes. Okay. All right, so what's gonna happen is um, we wanna get your resolutions done. Um, sorry, your working papers done in the next 15-ish minutes. And then we will present your working papers. Then from there, we'll make some edits, potentially merge. And then from there, we'll do amendments in the voting block to vote on your papers. We'll walk you through the steps. I know some of you at the first conference will make sure you know how the whole process works. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lower all hands. Are there any points or motions on the floor at this time? Kosovo? Motion for a 15 minute on mod. Uh, that is in order. Are there any other points or motions on the floor? Seeing none, we will now vote on Kosovo's motion for a 15 minute unmod. All those in favor, we'll close now. Um, really quickly, Chile, you weren't here when I was doing the roll call, so are you present or present voting? Chile. Uh, type in the chat if your audio is not working. Chile? Okay. I will put you as present. All right. Uh, the motion for the 15 minute unmod passed unanimously. So we're now in a 15 minute unmod. Anna will make the breakout rooms and please join them. As okay. a reminder, when you're trying to, oh, go ahead, Anna. Oh, I just said, okay, they're done. Okay, and as a reminder, if, when you are submitting, make sure you submit as a PDF, not a Google Doc. To limit yeah. money, Gmail. All right, go to your breakout rooms. Do your work. I think in the beginning, actually, I reached out to Ireland and Luxembourg originally to like kind of discuss ideas. And I think the three of us were kind of the people who started this block in the first place. So like Romy, I'm so sorry. I know you contributed like so much and we really appreciate that. But like you attended G-Monks, so you know there are plenty of opportunities to become a sponsor. And I think that Luxembourg um, you know, she had a lot of good ideas, and I think she deserves to be a sponsor. 
Um, yeah, thank you. Like, I'm not denying that you guys have contrary because I know everyone in this block has contributed a lot. But could you just, um, Ireland and Monaco, could you please elaborate on which parts of this resolution that you wrote? Um, yeah, so I um, communicated the idea of like working with local leaders for outreach and like kind of garnering trust to break that stigma. And I think Ireland, Ireland came up with like the education thing. So I think Ireland is good, yeah. I feel like communicating the ideas are really important. And I communicated the education idea because it was part of my original um, resolution that I sort of merged with you guys. But what's more important, I think, is actually writing it down on paper and presenting it. Because we're all reflecting different kinds of ideas in this very productive um, manner. Yeah, and I think Luxembourg ended up writing a lot. Like, um, you came up with the whole idea of substance abuse in the first place, which, and like, Romania, I know that you did a lot, but like, I don't know, I just feel like idea wise and contributing ideas like the three of us did more and we still appreciate all your contributions everyone's contributions of course yeah and can i branch off off of that because obviously i am a really big part of this problem because i really want to be a sponsor so first of all the way you guys decided sponsors without me was very problematic while you guys were deciding sponsors i wasn't um i believe that everyone should be there with that equal opportunity to get the expression of wanting to be a sponsor. But um, for information, while you guys were deciding that, I was one of the only delegates of this room to be able to convince the whole breakout room six to put their name as signatories, which contributes to a lot of our signatories right now. Yeah, and I, I, I really recognize and I appreciate your efforts too. But I think we also need to know that I was the one who took initiative to organize a people to get a people to get signatories. And I was one of the first people to actively start finding signatories. All right, so I guess in conclusion of that, we can both say that we've both contributed signatories, but um, branching off of Monaco, Delegate Monaco's point of how much each of us actually contributed, to remind you guys, I um, uh, because being a sponsor, again, you also have to be able to answer questions well and defend your resolution. So as a root and in a foundation, I know the COVID-19 substance abuse clause the best, and I wrote a majority of that, although I believe um, the, the delegation of Ireland also helped me with that too, so I want to thank you for that. And also um, the medication one, and I know someone else did branch off with their own ideas, but I was also, I thought about the idea a lot, and I care about that idea a lot, and I also wrote a majority of the points there. And yeah. throughout... Yeah, yeah we, we under, I understand that, but for religious community outreach and education clauses, I contributed a lot, and I know them like the back of my hand because I, I thought of the education part. So if you're worried about having, if you're worried about being, um, being like able to explain these, uh, in the in the main committee session, then you then we're all able to do that. Right, so right now we've talked about how we both gain signatories and we both write blocks. So I feel like the evidence is all out there and the decision is based on what the other members think. So do you guys uh, have I any? I would like to, um, I'd like to, for Ireland to elaborate on what Ireland contributed. Uh, thanks. Thank you, Delegation of Romania and Luxembourg for sharing what you've done. Um, I uh, The Delegation of Ireland initially uh, spoke on my uh, the delegation's proposal program for a program uh, the meet uh, for countries to implement. Um, so I was I, I, my delegation came up with the idea for online um, for online support groups and uh, reducing stigma, whatnot, uh, training training people, uh, training leaders in the community. Uh, that aspect I also. Um, uh, delegation also visited uh, Breakout Room 2 and added uh, a pretty big portion reminding them to uh, add to our signatory. Um, spoken multiple times during uh, moderated caucuses on uh, get in gathering support from other breakout rooms to join ours uh, to 
to um, support our resolution and also promoting it as well. Uh, yeah. Also yeah, and I think that's really great that you've been contributing a lot of ideas and being uh, an actively speaking on behalf of our breakout room, but I still feel like Luxembourg put it on paper. Um, I have, I'm actually backing Ireland because, um, yeah, again, I was like when he made, I think it was his first speech, I was the one to actually reach out to him and to convince him to join breakout room three, which is now turning to breakout room nine. But I really liked his idea of having the community leaders. And I feel like he knows, he definitely knows the idea best. And I also know how hard he worked, like, especially during lunch break too. He was making edits on all of them. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I think Ireland actually did a lot. Yeah, I was looking over Ireland's edits and like um, his delegation made some really good points. And I think, and- Yeah, and I saw that he was document. making edits too because I was on the document at lunch too. So I'm aware of that. But Romania, <laughs> um, it seems like, well, during the unmod, while I was observing, it seemed like you had a lot of questions to iron out like the wrinkles in the ideas that other people had, which of course is so important because we need to make sure that we have a resolution that makes sense, right? And I do feel like you are knowledgeable, but like we can only have three sponsors max. And I just feel like, um, you know, other I people. I feel like sometimes it should also be about who can most effectively present them. And I've spoken out multiple times in the main committee session and speaking on behalf of our block and advocating for our block. So I believe that I'm capable to yeah, really. I think we all spoke on behalf of our block multiple times. And... Yeah, but I just, I just think I'm really capable of uh, continuing to okay. do that. Um, um, this... Wait, sorry. Okay, wait, um, other so... people. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm from Breakout Room 2, and we're the Education Awareness and Funding Act, and so we promote bringing um, mental health education and awareness to schools to educate people about mental health, and so if that's interesting to you, I'll, I can put the link on the chat if you guys want to be signatories. Oh, okay. Is that EDACT? No, it's EAF. Oh, okay, never mind. I see. Oh. Is this new? Oh, I already, I think, added my signature to this. Yeah, but just like just in general to your break, breakout room. Oh yeah, you could count me in too. Also included Luxembourg, please. Oh, okay, so Luxembourg and Romania. I'll do it too. Okay. Wait, who is that? Oh, uh, Czech Republic. All right, uh, I think we that we need to finish this discussion. Um, it's Guys, tough. I think we should wrap it up by, um, in my opinion, I really think the main debate right now is between whether Romania or Luxembourg should be the sponsor. So I feel like we should abstain and let you guys talk about it and vote. And okay. um, I think it would only be fair if we're considering all four people who are, who want the position of the sponsor. Because as you said earlier, it's only fair we consider everyone, right, Luxembourg? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. So I agree with that. Okay, um, so um, I like react, I guess, in the chat, like who you think the sponsor should be. I don't know, how do we work? Or, we can, no, I'd, like to, I'd like to remind you guys that the plan, the name of our plan is named after my plan. That isn't much though, you just put the first letter uh, of every- I mean, the name, I like the name, but <laughs> it's, it's fun, okay. I um, named it because it encompasses besides, all the like, ideas I contributed and put down on paper, and it represents wait, I'm wait, able wait, to- wait. Luxembourg and Romania, what them. grade level are you guys in? <laughs> I'm in, why does that matter? For because typically, like, if you're in a lower grade, you have more opportunities. I don't know, I just want to- being in a lower grade doesn't define how many opportunities you have. I'm going to interject and, here and say that please don't take into account people's like schooling okay. and stuff. Just yeah. focus on policy and <laughs> Yeah, we should purely grade on who actually deserves it and not how many chances they have in the future again. So I feel like a process we could just go one by one with all four of us. And then if you agree with that person and so yeah, so keep three people that you want to be sponsors in mind, and then we'll go one by one through each one. And if 
and we'll count how many people agree with that. And then at the end, the top three get to be sponsors. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so first on my screen is Monaco. So I guess like. Oh wait, sorry. I'll, let me just add Luxembourg here. I'm sorry, I cannot spell Luxembourg. Okay. Okay, Tally? so if you want Monaco to be a sponsor, oh I'll my keep gosh. the tallies. Okay, um, I guess raise your hand in the participants. We could do the thumbs up feature too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's a yeah. thumbs up feature. Okay, one, two, three. I got four, five. Okay. Uh, should we do Ireland now? Wait, 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 sorry, one question. Can, like, can we vote, like, the spot, the people, like, the sponsors? Well, Monaco think... just voted for herself, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we wait, can't wait, guys, let's do this. Let's do this. I feel like if you guys don't vote, then, like, there's not enough people to, like, go yeah. off of. Yeah. That's true, but I feel like, okay. Okay, so, no, it's fine. Like, I can vote for other sponsors, and other sponsors can vote for me. Like, I think that works. I don't know. I feel like, like it sort you, of like damages the entire okay, of Romania, it's fine. system. Okay, who wants to? Oh, literally, if you vote for yourself, it's going to be the same ratio yeah. because everybody voting for themselves. Yeah, because you're subjective. No, I understand that, like, so how like, sponsors shouldn't vote for each other. Romania, it's it's fine. Don't oh, worry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm okay. just questioning how this is Okay, democ next democ up on my screen is Luxembourg. So, who wants Luxembourg to be a sponsor? Make a thumbs up. Okay. Um, Romania. Can I vote for myself? Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I think I'll I'm just okay. How about this? I'll just since I probably have like you said by like grade level or something. No, I, no, no. I agree we're not deciding that, by no, grade level. No, I said I agree that I probably have more opportunities uh, compared to Luxembourg, and also have to agree that I was not really actively like paying attention in this company, so I'll just remove myself. Oh, okay. So yeah. then we like, need to continue. Okay. Like so have we right figured now. out the sponsors? That is the most important. Because all right, I, uh, we need to decide not... who's speaking what. We have two minutes. Okay, first one, I can do that. Or are any of you guys more familiar with that than I am? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Oh, can I add one thing about my education clause? When you guys present that, could you like place emphasis? on how you want to standardize it and like really integrate it, not just like different districts and different schools, but have like a central plan to it. Um, We can put that in like a sub clause. No, I mean, just like when you present it, because I know that you guys didn't write it and I was <laughs> the one that really uh, materialized it. So yeah, the way you guys could uh, present it would be helpful. Okay, um, let's go through this fast. I'm just gonna start from the top. Preambulatory clauses, who's starting off with that one? I think we should decide those last because those don't really matter. <laughs> okay, COVID-19 and substance abuse, I think- I feel I like should... that should be Luxembourg, yeah. Okay. Um, and awareness then... and stigma campaigns, I feel like I should, either me or I, I feel like Ireland and I were really working on the stigma thing, like- I think I Monaco Monica. and then Ireland for the community. Okay, yeah, I'll do awareness and stigma then. And then access to medication, I think that should also be Luxembourg. And then the next one is Ireland, and then yeah. education. I can, I can do education. Okay. Okay, and so then, Monica. Wait, and can I add something for, for religious and community outreach? Could you place emphasis on how we're trying to build on the existing structure of like religious organization? Um, because that's the part I wrote, and I think it's pretty okay. important. Okay, sure. On so, not on how you're making new things, but you're building on things we already have. So that that sort of um portrayal. Um, okay, I just want to like do a quick recap. So I'll do Priam, then Luxembourg. Um, mm -hmm. we'll do COVID. I'll do awareness. Um, Luxembourg is also doing access, and then Ireland is doing religious and education. Yep. Does that work for everyone? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right, go to that go to that link go to that link that's a speaker uh oh, okay. speaking order 
At this moment, we have two working papers submitted. Can you read yeah. the email we're supposed to send it to, please? Uh, sure. Limbrookmun at gmail.com. It should be in the chat. I can't send it again. Okay, yeah, it's in the chat. Um, the yeah, current yeah. two resolutions, uh, working paper 1.1 is the EDACT resolution um, sponsored by Molly in Poland. Um, the second resolution submitted is working paper 1.2, which is a building block sponsored by Kosovo, Chile, and Argentina. Yeah. So for the two that haven't done it, haven't submitted yet, you guys can work while we do a mod or whatever, and then, or whatever, you guys can work throughout the committee and we should, we want to get these papers done within. Wait, can we check minutes. in on where those two blocks are at? How far along are you guys? If someone wants to speak, you just feel free to. Um, uh, block nine is submitting right now. Okay. Great. Thank you. Ones? And block two is also about to send it in. Oh, okay. perfect. Okay. Great. Uh, so, do you guys need a three-minute extension to determine who's gonna say what or present? Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So the chair, someone motion for it. Yeah. Chair would smile upon an extension to the previous one. Yeah, uh, UAE. A uh, motion for an extension of the unmod for three minutes. That is an order. Uh, I'll take no more motions at this time. Um, let's see. So yeah, so all those in favor, please raise your hands. Okay, so now in this, okay, so this passes. Now before, before you go, I just wanna make sure you all understand that what you're doing is, so before we go into presenting resolutions, uh, three, your, three to four people will come up to speak and answer questions. So what you're doing is you're, yeah, go ahead. So what you're and doing is you're deciding. Oh, oh my bad. Go, okay, ahead. go ahead. So what you're doing is you're deciding who is speaking, what sections they're going to talk about, and then who's answering questions. Okay. So and remember, yeah. So who's speaking, what they're speaking about, and who's answering questions. All right, Ian. A uh, quick clarification also: uh, the number of people speaking depends on who motions. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you're yeah. Okay, go, go to your board, go to your breakout rooms. I'll give you three minutes. Uh, Romania, just to clarify, you want me to emphasize how the education programs are going to be standardized? Is that correct? Yeah, it's, that sounds good. Okay. I mean, you could like do it however you want, but I just think that's probably the most important part of like education. Because if you have it like across different schools with different people like making the curriculum, like it sort of defeats the purpose of having the curriculum. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, did they say how much presenting time we got? No. I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure the chair, um, you will have to motion for it in the, in your motion. Oh, okay. Unless the chair is specified otherwise. But. Mm -hmm. Wait, do we talk about funding? Because you're probably going to ask us questions about how we're going to fund it. Uh, I think we mentioned NGOs. Wait, I think it's just separate clause for funding, right? Or... No, there isn't. Um, I don't think we need a separate clause for that. I think Wait, yeah, I, I think I, it was NGO somewhere. Yeah, funded by WHO, government agencies and NGOs. Yeah, there's also funding in the religious and community outreach part. Yeah, I think. I think that's good enough. Like WHO, government agencies, and NGOs, like that's set. Yeah. Molly, are you here for something? Uh, yes, I was talking to, I needed to send a note to someone.
Uh, I think we have time to practice once. Should we, or should we work on uh, like individual rehearsing? Um, I think we should spend the rest of the time to just read your clause very thoroughly. Let's understand it, yeah. Okay. All right, we are going to start. Oh, we can start now, actually. Great. OK. Um, just a note, um, we will be presenting in order received. Yes. Uh, give me one second, you guys, and then we'll proceed. OK. Uh, are there any other points or motions at this time? Uh, the chair would smile upon a motion to present working papers. Uh, Kosovo? Motion to present working papers. Uh, could you give a specific uh, total time per delegation? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Uh, how much time should be allotted towards presenting and how much towards questions? Oh, seven minutes for presenting, uh, three minutes for questions. Uh, would you be amenable to making that a five for presenting, three for questions? Okay. Okay. Five, three, present, four, three papers possible. Any other points or motions on the floor? Okay, um, seeing none, we will now vote on Cosmo's motion to present working papers and order received with five minutes for each delega delegation to present and three minutes for Q&A. All those in favor? Okay, all those opposed? All right, this passes. Okay. So we'll vote on, we will present an order received. So now, um, wait. Yeah. No, you finish and then I'll go. Yeah, no, I was just saying. So could you like send a PDF into the Zoom chat and I will. Yeah, so I'm organizing it right now. Um, so because EDAC submitted late, or you submitted a second version, you guys are last, okay? Um, so how, how it's gonna go is, uh, working paper 1.1 .1 is building block, um, working one paper 1.2 is care, working uh, paper 1.3 is block two, and working paper 1.4 is EDAC. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna- do not read your resolutions because we all have eyes. We can read it ourselves. So you can reword it or add stuff that's not on your resolution, but don't just plain read it. Yeah, you can summarize or, yeah. All right. Download this, okay. All right, give me one second. All right. Uh, let me start the timer. Oh, shoot. Okay, this sucks. Give me a second, you guys. Okay. You have five minutes, broken paper building block whenever you're ready. You can start. Okay. So um, we are the building block. Our sponsors are Kosovo, Chile, and Argentina. Our you signatories... can skip that. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, the preambulatory clause, acknowledging the need for mental health services in developing countries, keeping in mind the high religious populations in these countries, promoting educational care about the issues and stigma around mental health, and understanding the need for accessible mental health care. Operative clauses. One, establishes a mental health unit focusing on developing areas. Consistently uses a rapid situation assessment 
and updates the public and increases in education on mental health. Advocates for a mental health task force, which expands access to mental health programs and services in LEDCs or least economically developed countries, creates a working infrastructure and establishes preventative measures. Improves coordination between practitioners and other community partners during treatment and reintegration in cases of disaster or emergency relief. We uh, refines the infrastructure of dealing with this crisis, improving facilities, expanding into rural areas. Collects funds from ministries of health and justice, such uh, Department of Health and Social Welfare, funder, health funders such as the European Commission and Welcome, and donor country governments. It tells the roles of mental health professionals to accommodate for what is lacking in the workforce. Encourages excessive professionals in an aspect of the workforce to work where other workers are lacking. Incentivizes the transfer of caregivers in urban areas to rural areas where they may, may be more useful and provide specialized care to victims of Milwaukee or other mental traumas. Supports religious institutions, spreads awareness about mental health care and religious institutions, and encourages health care availability and reaches out to people that look in need. Ensures that people have access to remote mental health services, regardless of religious background. For example, the reform of Kosovo's asylum transformed into the Center for Integration and, Rehabilita and Rehabilitation. If remote health care isn't available, then mental health services in rural areas should also be available. Offers specialized training for religious and mental health professionals. Training can be beneficial to attracting people in need to mental health care. Training and promotion will let everyone know that mental health is available to all. Dedicates funding to NGOs in order to implement reform more efficiently. Collects funds from NGOs such as the World Psychiatric Association, zero loan interest programs, and government agencies such as the Department of Health and Human Services. And this plan creates a mental health awareness campaign directed towards the youth. It educates people about the stigmas around mental health and explains mental health in real life situations in rural areas and what it can look like. It urges countries into assessing their mental health situation and considering long-term um, changes and reforms. In this plan also encourages the countries into developing more infrastructure for dealing with mental health since there is not too much in place right now. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me just pull up the, give me a second, pull up the working papers on this. I mean, I'm quickly like to ask a question. Um, who are the yes. speakers of this resolution? Can you please repeat their names? I am pulling up the document right now. All right. Give me a second. Well, All right. Sponsors are Kosovo, Chile, and Argentina. Well, okay. Um, before we move on, I just really want to emphasize to please do not just read your paper out loud. Um, we want you guys to like add additional information. So like, please just don't read them. Just add more stuff, give a speech about it. Yeah, okay. Uh, at this point, we will now be taking questions on this resolution. So if you have a question, please raise your hand and the chair will call on you on this resolution. And then the sponsors will answer them. Ireland. Um, how would uh, exactly the the delegations uh, incentivize worker, health workers to move to rural areas? Uh, we would just probably offer to uh, pay them higher or something. Yeah, other, uh, yes. Okay, thank you, delegate. Uh, Latvia? How do you guys plan on getting religious leaders and 
and religious leaders to accept your accept the mental health, like get past their mental health health stigmas and help you in um, spreading mental health awareness in the first place? Um, there are religious support organizations that are in favor of mental health and understand the importance of mental health. So we would be supporting financially those organizations. Okay, thank you. Uh, Molly? Molly? Uh, how does your plan um, address the critical lack, the critical shortage of people who um, can provide mental health care facilities? Uh, we are uh, returning, like, if a country has excessive psychologists, then we will use some of those psychologists to work in the professions uh, that may be lacking, like maybe social workers. Uh, we're also, I guess, trying to uh, more educate, uh, work on education to also expand the uh, workforce. Our plan also um, encourages and tries to get people to talk about Anyone mental health. Yeah. Any other questions or can we, uh, uh, France, real quick. Um, this is a follow-up to the question posed by Latvia. Um, were you suggesting that you were going to financially aid specific religious groups to incentivize them to uh, adopt the mental health um, uh, services? Um, our resolution clearly states that we will be supporting mental health support organizations regardless of their background. So whether they are religious or aren't religious or have specific cultural backgrounds, we will be supporting all of them. Okay. Thank you, delegates. Your time has elapsed. Uh, now we will be moving on to working paper 1.2. That is the CARE Act sponsored by Monaco, Ireland, and Luxembourg. Uh, give me a second. Let me switch tabs. Um, yeah. All right. Whenever you're ready, you guys. Uh, Ignore... <laughs> Acknowledging, Sorry, acknowledging the current crisis disproportionately affects developing countries, keeping in mind that one in four people globally- You can skip the preamps. Okay, yeah. Um, someone else is doing that, so. Okay, all right, so our first solution is COVID-19 and substance abuse. Ensures prevention and treatment on increased substance abuse during the COVID-19 pandemic by so first of all, we know COVID-19 has affected, affected many with mental health disabilities. So we're ensuring that national and local leaders do not create policies that might discriminate against that and also further create awareness campaigns that go against substance abuse and promotes access to community and mental health services to first responders and social workers um, to alleviate stress because they've had a lot of patients and develops baseline software and other resources for community support groups to use, which enables them, those in isolation to re-engage. We also want to provide a strategy to raise awareness for mental health issues and combat the stigma surrounding mental health. So this would include teaching both adolescents and adults that seeking professional help is encouraged and there's absolutely no shame in doing so, as well as creating a presentation on the different ways that mental health can manifest itself so that people are aware of the issues they may or may not have. And for rural groups specifically, we want to inform people that there are resources that do not depend on their location alone, such as online therapy groups and helplines. So next, you want to increase access to medication and healthcare services, especially focusing on least economically developed countries and specific rural areas. So we'd first do this by researching their supply chains for any faulty drugs or corruption and things like that with knowledgeable physicians and experienced therapeutic committees. And next, ensure that out-of-pocket payments that students are paying aren't as frequent or decrease with more country investment and funding towards pharmaceutical industries in their region. And next, we want to, after that, we want to increase local infrastructure to ease that flow of the medicine we're talking about. So this means encouraging the building of local mental health centers 
and rural areas, especially in indigenous populations. And this is all funded by WHO, the government agencies, and also other NGOs. And that, next, we're gonna focus on medications. Um, the, every country should at least have psychotherapeutic medications, bipolar disorders, and et cetera. And we wanna design and implement strategies sp specifically for these countries and areas that would uh, be allocated towards UN resources, ensure the coverage of mental health services overall, and also improve transportation to these services. Next, we want to create and improve immediate mental health hotline, which many countries do not have yet, and provide training for general doctors in the community that will be working at these community services. And this also means establishing a public and awareness campaign, which we'll expand on later, and um, we're placing an emphasis on these primary health care centers by developing a five-year mental health plan. Oh, we also want to provide a guideline and informative mental health resources for uh, trusted religious community, le uh, tr trusted religious and community leaders uh, that would make uh, cultural and religious inclusive with uh, traditional norms. And we also want to promote solutions and ways to seek help for those with mental disabilities. Uh, we also want to place focus on religious leaders and how they play a very significant role uh, for mental health in their community, while also emphasizing the separation from church and state. Uh, we want to create regional directories of local community support centers and provide these primary and secondary care staff to give to patients. This would ensure that staff are um, culturally and linguistically represented in the community they're serving. And that we would also occasionally monitor the quality of service and inclusion given in support centers. We also want to secure funding by the World Psychiatric Association, the official health, mental health NGO related with the WHO. Uh, we want to shift the funding to result-based financing focusing on what we actually accomplish and establish clinically sound incentives for the care of mentally ill. Uh, finally, we want to encourage further investment in providing schools with resources focusing on mental health. This would be through webinars in primary and secondary schools that would educate students on the importance of mental health and how to find guidance. Uh, this would also familiarize students in seeking help and we reduce the stigma surrounding mental health. Uh, we also wanna include the teaching of students and instructors about the symptoms of different mental disorders and train staff to provide the necessary support. Uh, we want to promote the establishment of relevant curricula in both primary and secondary education, lead and written by representatives accredited in the mental health community, standardize and revise curricula to address the relevance of current dynamics. We, finally, we want to develop special programs. Okay, targeting. thank you, delegate. Thank you, your time has elapsed. You can take a breath now. Okay, um, we now have three minutes for Q&A. Abhinav, before Q&A, can I just confirm that the sponsors of this resolution were Luxembourg, um, Monaco, and Ireland? Yes, that's correct. Very cool. Okay. A point uh, of... You have three minutes. Yes, what's up? Um, do we have to present the preambulatory clauses? You do not have to present the preambles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, three minutes for questions. Please raise your hands. Molly. Um, I noticed a lot of your solutions required the use of technology. Um, how do you plan on making that tech, that technological um, technology accessible to places that aren't necessarily the most technologically advanced? Yeah, so this is, this is a good question. We included this throughout because we had, as you said, technology through our solution, but specifically in our infrastructure, we said it would be funded by for ourselves, the government agencies, because the governments do want to improve their own technology and NGOs to increase transportation and technology and things like that. Yeah, so that's how we would do it. Uh, Romania. Um, so you talked about developing curricula for primary and secondary education. Um, is it, would it be organized by the government, nonprofits, religious institutions? Um, where would that be from? Uh, that would be through the WHO, uh, the World Health Organization, which would work with uh, professionals in mental health and developing curriculum for this topic. Okay, any other questions? All right, um, seeing none, I guess we can 
um, move on to the next resolution. Anna is going to be taking over as your co-chair for the remainder of the conference. Um, yeah. Okay, next we have the Education Act. Um, sponsors, Mali, Poland, and Romania. Whenever you're ready, I'll start the time. Uh, the EDAC is a comprehensive resolution that provides solutions uh, for many facets of the mental health crises, including the shortage of mental health care professionals, the stigma surrounding mental health, and the lack of equal access to facilities. As the WHO, our goal and our purpose is to ensure the safety and health of the people. And that's why the delegations of Mali, Poland, and Romania proposed the EDAC, a plan that does just that. We have identified that one of the main reasons behind a lack of professionals is the high cost of pursuing such a career, and therefore would like to propose SHU, a program designed to efficiently address the critical lack of mental health care professionals. The program utilizes grants and donations to provide full ride scholarships for students looking to pursue a career in mental health care in low and income in developing countries. This would result in students having an incentive to pursue related careers and has actually already been implemented at other universities such as NYU, which after implementing tuition-free medical school has seen an increase in medical applications and has been able to increase its medical student body. We also would like to raise wages for those working in this field while maintaining pre-existent governmental policies regarding the cost of receiving healthcare. The EDAC plan also utilizes, sorry, The EDAC plan also utilizes rigorous media campaigns that serve to educate and destigmatize mental health. We also aim to provide equal access to facilities by establishing mental health clinics in areas that do not have adequate accesses already. We recognize that the mental health crisis is not solved if everyone doesn't have equal access to the healthcare, uh, which is why we want to provide that for people in rural and developing regions by developing mental health clinics that provide equal access to help. These clinics would be staffed by men mental care healthcare professionals and would be located in central locations that ensure equal access to healthcare. Uh, the funding would be secured from philanthropy-based foundations and, if necessary, the World Bank to properly implement the solution. Finally, we would like to introduce uh, rigorous social media campaigns in uh, an effort to destigmatize de um, receiving help for mental, mental health. Um, this would be done by pamphlets and coverage on mainstream media regarding the benefits of mental health care. And we would, constant, we would um, constantly review and revise the current education curricula and adapt it to educate children and youth on receiving mental health care. We would also have specific programs targeted at, targeted at children of high risk of social ex exclusion, such as minorities, children with disabilities, or homeless and impoverished children. Um, this is because they are at especially high risk of social exclusion, which increases potential for future mental health issues. Okay, good job, delegates. Um, I will now put three minutes on the clock for Q&A. Please raise your hand if you have a question and I will call on you. Um, Dominican Republic. Um, how do you plan to improve transportation to like, in rural areas to mental health care facilities? And that's the reason why we plan on um, providing more mental health care clinics in areas that are underserved by um, health care. We're bringing the mental um, health the to is. the rural areas. Um, um, only one person per question. Luxembourg. So I noticed throughout your resolution that these are these solutions are mainly focused on um, more underdeveloped countries. So we have to remember that mental health is still a global problem. So other than the rigorous media campaigns, what other solutions do you have towards more developed countries? And that's a reason why we want to, um, you know, address the lack, the shortage of professionals is because that is a problem that affects all countries, regardless of whether they're developed or not. And providing low cost medical um, tuition free medical schools would help, um, you know, get more people into the field so that we have more people staffed to help address mental health issues. United Arab Emirates. 
um how would you pay for a tuition free school because like most like colleges are either private or they're run by a country or government so how would you like get them to be tuition free and so yeah. who plan um would take fun um would utilize grants and donations from philanthropic philanthropic organizations such as the bill and melinda gates foundation for example um and it would take that money and um encourage uh institute educational institutions to provide full ride scholarships for students who want to go into mental health care um Saudi Arabia. Uh, how can you ensure that these um, these foundations will support your cause? Um, because like, do you have, do your countries have any like relations to them? We, um, we, we just wrote, we have, so, okay. Um, we want to work with foundations that have a particular interest in um, addressing mental health. And that's what, um, why we think they would want to help us. Um, I'll do one really quick question, Monica. Um, yeah, you mentioned destigmatization a little bit, but a lot of people don't have access to mainstream media outlets. So how do you plan out to reach out to those people? And that's why we plan on revisiting educational curriculums in schools and the pamphlet, pamphlets um, so that we can more efficiently educate everybody. Okay. Um, that is the end of Fortune Paper 1.3. We will now go on to 1.4. The sponsors are Austria, Finland, and Jamaica. It is called the Education Awareness and Funding Act. I'm going to put five minutes on the timer and whenever you're ready. We are urging the World Health Organization and other nations to adopt school curriculum surrounding mental health awareness. The first step in implementing this would be recommending the creation of a mental health curriculum for primary and secondary schools. This would aim towards educating students about what mental health services are available for them and also addressing common misconceptions about mental illness and suicide prevention, where many people may be fearful of um, coming out to talk about it. We will also be creating a program that promotes destigmatizing and mental health illness and services in communities through a program which is optional. It would be a year long program, possibly once a month, consisting of webinars and counseling. And each country will be in charge of their specific curriculum as it depends on what country is able to offer um, based on how much money they have or um, what their goals are. And this would be a gradually phased in plan that is recommended and this would help mitigate the backlash. And this plan will efficiently target all students, including countries that are less religious. And as the World Health Organization, this solution will incorporate all countries in a compromise that focuses on education instead of religion. We will encourage the reaching out in regards to mental disorders to create a more transparent conversation. We will also integrate suicide prevention education in this curriculum, such as um, hotlines and other resources like that. And we will also be recommending interdisciplinary uh, team, an interdisciplinary team made up of mental health professionals to collaborate with the state. And um, we will provide close collaboration between um, schools and healthcare services. We also plan on extending mental health resources to rural and underdeveloped areas. And we and these resources will help ensure that these areas get the same mental health resources as more developed urban areas. We plan on sending in professional specialists in mental health to these areas to train local practitioners such as doctors and nurses, who the people are familiar with to give them the proper training they need and to give the people um, a person to talk to who's licensed in mental health, who's qualified in mental health that they can trust and they know about. 
And then third of all, we want to, um, so spreading public awareness about the stigma around mental health through a global com community committee called um, the World Mental Health Committee. And basically what this committee kind of is in charge of is um, first they're kind of traveling, um, in charge of traveling around the globe, um, especially to less urban areas to campaign and educate about mental health and also hosting events throughout like festivals and like to advocate others about this topic as well. And this committee is also in charge of like using the available technology to spread awareness, such as creating social media challenges, like using hashtags or um, creating media campaigns and just spreading information, like correct information through podcasts, lives, blogs, and then different articles. And you can also create um, a website that's like targeted towards younger generations with games and different fun activities to enrich their learning and knowledge about mental health. And lastly, in order to move forward with the integration of mental health education in the school curriculum, funds are needed, which will be obtained from the uh, World Health Organization, partnerships with various NGOs whose focus surrounds mental health, such as the World Federation for Mental Health, donation and support from private companies and donors, and public and nonprofit funding from more developed countries, which would be allocated to mental health research and resources. Okay, cool. Now we will be ending the Q&A session. Please raise your hand. Um, Molly. Um, so I noticed that you guys plan on getting funding from private companies. And the thing about the thing I'm worried about is when you um, use private companies, it can end up becoming too politicized um, as they gain more political power. So how do you keep that from happening? Well, the companies that we would be interested in working with would generally have goals that are aligned with what we want. And so before that, we would obviously not go blindly into just asking anyone to fund us. Um, it would be companies that have been vetted through um, their goals. And what they want. Okay, um, Arlene. Um, the paper, the resolution mentioned in clause two on extending mental health resources to rural areas. Uh, how do you plan on addressing rural areas without doctors and how would you train people there? Um, oh, go ahead. Thank you. Um, okay, so uh, while, while some um, communities might not have um, trained doctors, they might have trained healers or um, other more, more local or uh, not religious, but more um, less modernized doctors. But uh, we can still provide um, an education in mental health for them. And they would be the ones that the community's members will trust. And um, that will lead to credibility for our plan. So that would only be areas with doctors that aren't the uh, doctors only. Um, a lot of modern, uh, a lot of modernized communities, um, they have doctors, but uh, ones that are not as developed, um, they might have traditional healers or uh, ones that people go to to um, ask for advice in terms of um, their health. So yeah, it would be like their doctor, but it, they might have different qualifications. Um, okay, well, maybe. Yeah. Um, so you talked about social media campaigns, specifically like using hashtags. Um, how effective do you think that would be in rural, sorry, in third world countries or countries where technology is not so prominent? Um, okay. Well, I believe that the social media ones are going to be more for more developed countries, um, countries that actually have better access to technology. But we have like a system in place for more third world countries, which would be like non-social media campaign. Okay, um, I think that's it for this Q&A. Um,
So now that we have just presented all working papers, um, the chair would smile upon a motion to move into voting block. Um, but actually, uh, Frank, do you know how like the stuff for amendments work? Like, is that during voting block? So, um, I'm, I'm not sure how Limbrook has done it in the past, but for amendments, um, I believe they're done before you enter voting block, possibly after. Um, cause once you're in voting block, it's, it's pretty much like you're trying to. So, so, um, the reason I'm saying this is because since we have four resolutions right now, I would highly smile upon one merge to reduce four resolutions into three resolutions. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is done before voting block happens. So, um. For merging, normally you guys discuss it during an unmod. Um, merging is a great way to show leadership and to show collaboration. It's not a bad thing to merge with another block. So right now I would highly smile upon an unmod to discuss merging. And um, just some more stuff about merging, you would combine your resolutions, you would rediscuss sponsors and like combine signatories. So the goal after your unmod would be to have three resolutions and then you would resubmit it. Ireland. A point of inquiry, would we have to rediscuss uh, who is, who is a signatory or sponsor of a resolution? Yeah, so um, normally after you merge, depending on how many clauses make it to the final part, like you would rediscuss sponsors. So um, the chair would smile upon a motion for an unmoderated caucus. Dominican Republic. A motion for a 10 minute unmod. Okay, that is all the motions that I'm going to be taking right now. So um, please vote yes or no. Okay, this motion passes. I am now going to open 10 breakout rooms and hopefully by the end of this unmod, you guys can reach an agreement. And just a reminder, um, there's one block that's very small. I think there's only three people in it. So would highly recommend that block to merge with another one. a full pre-ride tuition, then I think we could do it. Yeah, Molly. And that would also take care of our some of our funding issues because like we would also be able to like piggyback off um, the co companies, sorry, the organizations that they're trying to get funding from. Thank you I much. Oh, what? what? Like only the only um, part about education is at the end where there's one line that says, educate students on how to maintain the memory. So that's kind of vague, um, but I guess we could work with them. I mean, there are other like underdeveloped countries mainly as Saudi Arabia pointed out. So I guess if you, if we want to go to their block or their breakout room, which breakout room are they in? Maybe we can like ask Lobby them is already in there. education before, before combining with them. Oh, sorry, what'd you say? Maybe we can like ask them on their stance on education. They're, they're here now. Yeah. Oh. Um, we're There's willing to merge. possibility of merging. I think the delegation of Latvia um, came to get us. Yeah. Um, so we were just wondering about your position on education. Um, you know, for the most part, we believe that, you know, there needs to be a heavy importance on um, educating the young and trying, you know, really destigmatizing mental health care. 
And also we really need to educate more people so that they can go into the field and we don't have to deal with the shortage of professionals. Because mental health really starts when children are young. That's when they're the most malleable and subject to the effects of mental issues. Yeah, I okay, think we agree so with what you about on... we add that part about um, mental health, I mean, sorry, education for like mental health professionals to ours? our thing and then because we already have stuff about um, media campaigns and education for kids yeah so um do you guys want to add the part about how um the low cost or tuition free medical schools that's the only part that we disagree on we agree with you on every other uh, aspect but the tuition free uh, portion we're not quite i think we're fine with admitting the the tuition free part i agree with france i disagree with france I want to say what we do. Okay. The literally the um, only problem with the resolution that I think all of us are kind of confused about is like there's just so much like money going to all these different places and some of them are kind of like unnecessary in a way, you know? Well, what we believe is, you know, you can't really do anything if there aren't people, you know, you can have thousands of people go to these mental health clinics, but it doesn't make a difference if there's no one there to actually help them. Oh wait, could I interject? But what is the name of your resolution again? It's the EAF. Yeah. The EA EAF. Okay. The education oh, awareness. Thank oh, you. This is ours. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry, the names sound like really similar. Would it be possible, Molly, if we like modified it just a little bit so that we can like compromise on some areas just so that you can get something that you want and we can agree on it? No. Yeah. Because I like, like oh, you can go. Oh, oh, you can, right. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say that um, it'll it makes more sense to do instead of a full ride scholarship, just like a part time a part scholarship, just like increase okay. the number of scholarships. I'd, I'd be willing to um, you know, compromise on that. And another thing is, we only um, the S who plan only works, it only really applies to underdeveloped con- um, developing countries that you know don't necessarily have the funds already. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons uh, we wanted to um, collaborate because like ours, if you didn't like notice, is like a little bit more on like the developed side. And yeah, I think like, definitely. like joining ours would give an edge because it's applicable to like all all countries. Yeah. So um, that part, the part about it being, you know, the SU plan being for um, un- un- developing countries, um, it's already mentioned. So do you guys want me to just like copy and paste it, I guess? Yeah. 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 Just also, a, oh, sorry. Uh, just a question. But um, how many scholarships is it like to every student, or is there like some sort of like test to take? Because like my country is kind of broke, and we may not have the money for it right now. But I think we can that's the do. thing. The money for these um, scholarships, it's not coming from the governments. As you know, Mol- Molly, we're one of the poorest countries in yeah. the world, so we definitely don't have the money for this. But that's why we this plan would revi- rely okay. on, um, you know, it's a global effort. Donations. Yeah, I agree um, with that personally. Okay, um, it's not I formatted, think, but I think that's fine. It's do you fine. have a link to our document? To yeah. yeah, I did. I already added it at the bottom. Okay, thank you. Um, so um, do you want to talk to the rest of your group, or are they all here? Um, they're all in a yeah. group. I think we're all the only people interested in merging, so I think it's fine yeah. for now. Okay, Wait, and then I'd like, I'd like to be a sponsor, like if we have time for that. Uh, there's only uh, oh um. I think the co-chairs mentioned that this terms for the sponsors would have to be uh, redone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's one of the downsides of merging. Can... Um, one of the things I think we can add about the scholarships is. What if we made it like based on the like how developed the country is or how the students do in like a test or something? Like it shouldn't be the same scholarship for everybody. It should, what if we vary the numbers? So some people might get a full scholarship, some people might get like very little. Yeah, so there's a test you have to take to apply. Yeah, I think, I think the, the test the could be a bit, are... um, you know, what the thing about tests is like look at the SATs, for example they aren't necessarily as equal access. So, you know, um, kids yeah, I think who the don't goal have- of the scholarship isn't really to like 
let, let them go to college for free. It's more to incentivize. So we can yeah. use other ways to incentivize them to pursue a medical career in mental health. Oh, so that like that at least know that something is available to them? Yeah. So okay. we really want to incentivize people to, hey, go into mental health care. You get um, higher wages. You get you don't have to pay for your education. It's already paid for. Um, you know, it just gives people a reason hey, to want um, to go into this. By the way, we... Uh, room six we also have incentivizing goals and if you guys are willing to support us if you guys could tell us now so we have a sense that would be great um i think we're already merging with this yeah block. we're merging together can you guys update me really quickly on what's going on yeah, we're merging. We're like kind of trying to figure out the terms of the merge, I guess. Okay, so you guys are merging with block two? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um uh co chair, we have to reestablish like the sponsors and everything, right? Yes. Okay. Um, does anyone have any um, actually what I'm gonna do since block two was the biggest block before merging, I'm gonna do um raise the three sponsor cap to four. Okay. And then Molly could just join in, right? Yeah. Okay. We can do like two from each or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think two from each is more fair. If it's two from each, did you guys, are we splitting the okay. terms equally or are we just copy pasting a little from each? I think, uh, I think we're just taking like verbatim from like our yeah. resolution. Do you guys want to change it? should be three one. You want to change it? Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, what if we made it like the ETH Act instead of like ED Act? Like ED yeah, as an also, EID. Oh, also, delegation of Molly, could I be a sponsor? Yeah, sure. Since I think we only have like two spots anyway. Okay, I'll just... How many people were in your. Um, we only your... had. Like, we're the only people interested in merging. Yeah. We only had three people in our block, and one of them's not even here, so. Oh. Wait, um, then should we do like three one? Because like wait, is Molly fair. replaced by Romania? I'm confused. Sorry. Uh, just to just to jump in, um, this is uh, uh the CARES Act. Oh, I think we have a lot of common ground for uh, reducing. Oh, yeah, we're already like um, we're already merging. merging, and yeah. in the interest of time, we'd like to finalize our merging. Thank you. Yeah, we're just confirming, just confirming votes and confirming support for uh, other blocks. Uh, I think we have a lot of common ground for uh, reducing stigma and education, like prioritizing education as well. So I was just wondering if we have your support in that Yeah, aspect. as a signatory, yeah. I'd like to see your resolution yeah. pass too. Yeah, I'll okay. be a signatory too. No, no not, not signatory, it's just support for uh, during voting. That's it. All right, thank you. Are we gonna- Yeah, and do we have your support as well? Uh, yes. Okay. We, we... Uh, that's five sponsors. Are we representing the... No, I don't think we're representing. You're just gonna represent the like the overall resolution, just this. Oh, point. like the amendment. Okay, wait. Here's a. Guys, we need to we have five sponsors, sponsors right now, and we only we can only have four. Wait, um, because you guys only have like like two people. Is it two people right now, or like there? Two, if... technically two. But can someone fix the funding thing? Because I think oh. we should make it a little better. Wait, yeah. maybe we can specify. Oh, wait, if we can only have one um, delegation of Molly, could I be the sponsor on behalf of our block? Um, I think I'd like to be the sponsor just because I wrote the clause that kind of made it into this merge. Okay, so I'm going to extend the unmod by two minutes. Please get this done in two minutes. Are we going to change the preamble? Like, are we going to update it? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We have the um, funding thing twice. One is in the copy paste thing, and one we have already. So, like merge that as well. Okay, are we merging the funding parts? Yeah. Yeah, just put it into our like section about funding. Romania want to be a sponsor or Molly? Uh, I want to. I'd like to be a sponsor too. Can we do the pick a number thing? Like pick a number between one and ten, and then whoever's closest. <laughs> Wait, you can just vote on it. Yeah, let's vote. Wait, but we don't really know. Who let's just do a random number. Yeah, we don't really like, know how to. I feel like in the interest of time, since we have like just like react if you um. 
Like if Wait, I should um, do this delegation of Finland, could you proceed with your number thing? Oh, can we do the number thing? Because I feel like that's like the most fair, yeah. you know? Okay. One to one hundred. Especially one since we don't have much time. Okay, cool. I have a number in mind. Go. Romania. Wait, is it fourteen? Wait, can you give a range? I think yes. what is it? One to hundred. One to one to hundred. Okay. Um. Okay, one more clarification. Right now we have three resolutions, or it's like three blocks merging together because three. Because right now I only see two breakout rooms that are occupied. So is there like more than? No, we only have two. So it should only be the edact and the uh yeah yeah. Didn't okay. their group split? Didn't. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's because room okay. six is done with their work. Molly, yeah. can you have a number, please? Yeah, fourteen. Fifteen. 15, 14, 15. The number was 27. So I think Romania. Oh right? Because Romania said 15, right? Yeah. Five, one, five, 15. Right. And then Molly said 14. Yeah. Okay. So Romania. Super fair. <laughs> Good game. Is there any other changes we need to make? Or are we basically done? And also, do we have to resubmit the PDF? Yes. Yeah. Uh, does someone mind doing that when we did it last? Time? How many sponsors do you guys have just for? Um... We have four. Um, Anna said that she, like, since our block was really big. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah, I said four because block two was originally the biggest one, anyway. So it's fine. Wait, and do we have to represent on this? So do we have to like? Yeah, just just your just this resolution, not the other one. Anna, can you go to main room real quick? Yes. Okay, well, um, by the way, I'm ending rooms in one minute. Okay. Um, please wait, say wait. which part you want to talk about. Um, I'll talk we about have a know. huge amount of people. So, we yeah, just... we're in support of yours. Uh, somebody has already come. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. We really appreciate your support, you guys. Yeah, and please support us too. Tell your blog. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Bye, friend. Okay, okay Bye. I can. I can present the clause about, um, you know, the schools, um, the tuition and medical sure. schools. That and I'll talk about oh my gosh, guys, guys. I'm really sorry I got overpowered by my colleagues. We don't want a block to overpower any other block. And since this block is ginormous, we're going to keep the sponsor cap at three. So I apologize. Are we going to do the pick the number thing? Wait, can you give um, us an extension appreciate... of time? Because this is short notice. I'll give you like a minute, but I would appreciate if you guys just like took leadership and no more pick a random number. Wait, it was a good idea though. Pick a number. Let's let's okay, be like no, it wasn't. Okay. I literally wrote that entire clause and Romania is the sponsor. So okay, wait, guys. Okay, um, so are you okay, guys so going just... to kick Romania or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just gonna keep Romania and then just uh how about, wait, um, co-chair, could, in order to even out, could you just let the other block have four sponsors too? Uh, it's easier to remove, to add sponsors and remove sponsors, and we don't have a lot of time. Um, I don't, I don't really think it matters, like, that much. It doesn't matter, just vote on it in the end, like, just um, vote on it, just somebody take okay, it. Okay, in. just to make sure, your it, resolution it is done, right, your resolution is merged, all you guys need to do is determine sponsors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like, a minute tops. Just a reminder, sponsor is someone who wrote stuff, basically. So if you wrote, the people who wrote the most become sponsors in the story. Then just none saying, of the mergers are going to be sponsors. No, just saying the entire purpose of keeping the sponsor uh, cap small is to prevent a massive block from forming. But as that's already happened, now you guys have to make decisions based on what has already happened in the past. But we were misinformed and spent a lot of time. Um, can I just... <laughs> Can we just like talk this out? <laughs> um, so I worked on the education portion, uh, which is the I think is a main portion of this whole thing. But if you want to write me off, feel free to write me off. Um, no, I think the majority think of the awareness, the third thing you move over. So and then Finland. I think it's fair if we keep Molly and two of ours, because I think Molly, I know uh, Molly did a lot of work on theirs too, which was almost the same as ours. Molly and I think possibly Jamaica because that's like the biggest block and then yeah. pick somebody else, I guess. And Austria did a lot in um, campaigning, right? Yeah. So are we talking okay. about Finland? I'm not sure what Finland did though. Sorry. 
Oh what? Me? Oh wait. Um I did one in three. Like I like I'd helped with both, but I kind of spread myself thin and just like inputted myself like everywhere. That's why. Wanna, also like yeah. on behalf of like the merger group, we don't really want to like interfere in you guys. So I think it would be best if we just kept it with your sponsors because you guys like did the crux of Y'all, it's not sponsors. a big deal, okay? It's just a sponsor. I, if you guys are wanting to be a sponsor to get an award, I think the best thing would be if, if you actually like were present during the whole meeting. So like, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter, so we should just keep it as it is. Austria, Finland, and Jamaica. Okay. Okay. Finalize. Should I send the email PDF, or do you, any of you guys want to? Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Okay, so send it to the Lindbergh Mon, and I'm going to close all rooms right now. And, oh, who's going to speak? Can someone? Okay, I'll speak on the first one because I wrote it, and then. Oh, we were just about the last plot. Hopefully, you guys have sent a PDF version into um, limbrookmun at gmail.com. Before we go through the merged resolution, I just want to say that I'm really proud of you guys. I know that merging is really hard, especially with the whole sponsor thing, but it's a very important part of committee to learn how to collaborate. So yeah, I'm just proud of you guys. Good job. Um, So right now I'm just waiting for the resolution. Anna, um, if you could do an, a moderated caucus or just any type of um, caucus while we're making a folder with the resolutions, that'd be pretty Yeah, cool. okay, so I will, sorry, I need to screen share my pen. So while Shion makes a folder with everything, I'm going to, I would smile upon a moderated caucus to discuss your working papers. Um, uh, also, I will smile upon shorter speaking times, like 30 seconds. A lot and also, yet. just a question, I, I, as well as sending over your um, PDF documents, can you also send over your Google documents? So if we go through a an amendment process, we can easily edit the Google document to reflect the amendments. Yeah, to help Sean out, can you guys, every single resolution block, just resend PDF plus Google Doc? Thank you so much. Thank you all. Um, Latvia. Resolution. Um, sorry. Um, um, let's do three minutes, 30 seconds speaking times about what we did in the, um, what we did in our breakout rooms and merging. Can we just do working papers? Okay, so I'm just going to do working papers, current working papers. Um, are there any other motions on the floor right now? Okay, with that, we're going to vote on this motion. Please vote yes or no. This motion clearly passes. Um, we are now in a three minute, un three minute moderated caucus. Latvia, would you like to go first or last? I will go for, I'll go first. Okay. I'll put 30 seconds on the clock whenever you're ready. Our working paper um, now combines the EAF and parts of the um, scholarship. So we plan on educating people in schools and in rural communities, as well as providing possible scholarships or financial aid as an incentive to people who want to pursue mental health careers. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I would recommend in your speeches mention like the name of your resolution as well. And just like, yeah. So Ireland. Uh, in our block, uh, which developed the CARE Act, we cover multiple issues that address mental health, including COVID-19, substance abuse awareness, stigma campaigns, and much, many, many other subjects. Uh, we feel that this addresses the multiple issues currently that are facing many countries around the world. And this is a fast response to an ever-changing pandemic that will be much, much faster than what is being proposed by other resolutions. And this would also help rural communities 
in assisting those with mental issues as the pandemic continues. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Next, we have possible. Thank you. Um, the building block uh, focuses on developing countries and religious countries, as said in the name, building. And we, um, we focus on increasing awareness in religious institutions, as well as um, spreading accessibility in general. We have discussed it and our resolution doesn't contradict with any of them. So if we could get education block support, that would be great. Thank you. Um, just before the next speaker, the, currently the only resolution I have is the PDF for the Education Awareness Funding Act. So if, you, if that is not your resolution, please send me both a Google Doc and a PDF of your, an editable Google Doc and a PDF of your resolution. Only the PDFs will go in the folders, of course. Um, yes, again, please, because if you guys, uh, through the mergers, you guys probably have made some edits on your resolution. So we do want a final copy. Yeah, everyone resend PDF and Google Doc. Only one person uh, block. We would preferably like you guys to email it so we have a full copy of it. But yeah. okay, I do have the CARE Act now. I just put the email in the chat again. Okay, please raise your hand if you'd like to speak. United Arab Emirates. Um, okay, so by combining the previous block um, and the Education Awareness Act, we have um, created a, we created one that has focuses on both urban and rural areas, as well as both the developing and developed countries, and focuses on many global health issues, such as um, the increasing the amount of person, mental health personnel, destigmatizing mental health illness, and promoting a mental health education in schools. Okay. Um, two more speakers. Jamaica. Um, point of inquiry, this is just about like uh, our actual money, right? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so we are uh, so the EAF and the EDACT have merged. We are focusing on educating students, increasing funding, scholarships towards people going into medical fields. And um, we are also going to be working on campaigning. Uh, Wait, is this a question or your speech? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was the speech. Oh, OK, cool. Um, your time starts now. <laughs> oh, sorry. I um, think I heard you say you had a question, so I thought it was a point of inquiry. Sorry, my bad. Um, okay, so the EAF and the EDAC have merged. We are focusing on educating students, increasing uh, funding scholarships towards people going into the medical field, as well as campaigning. Um, globally. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. And one last speaker. Please raise your hand. Whenever you're ready. Okay, um, thank you, Chair. I'd once again like to summarize what the work we've done in um, the CARE Act. So we're not only providing solutions of all magnitudes from COVID-19, which is a worldwide problem, we're also focusing on smaller issues like community problems. And we're also implementing solutions on education and access to medical resources in, not, in rural and in least economically developed countries and areas. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Um, Shayan, is the folder finished? Give me a sec, I just got the last resolution. So let me just put that in the folder and then I'll send the link. Um, just to reiterate, I have um, the building block. I have um, 
the CARE Act, and I have the Education Awareness one. Is that correct? Am I missing any resolutions? I'm gonna take that as a no. Um, also, could someone from the education block, if you haven't already, just send the Google link in the chat for your... Send it to Sean privately. Yeah. Uh, and also, can you send me the link for the procedural doc so I can just uh, link it in there? Yeah. All right, I do have the link for the folder. Let me get it to you guys. So I know that some of you may have never done merging before, so I'm going to go over what the next few minutes is going to look like really quickly. So firstly, we're going to present the resolution that was just merged. There had been some changes to it. After we present that, we are going to move into voting block. So it's going to be a motion to move into voting block, and we're going to go over the resolutions one by one, so individually. So after each resolution is presented, we are going to um, we're going to go over amendments. So amendments will be done after every single resolution instead of like generally after all of them are presented. So it's like going to be the first resolution, then amendments on that resolution, and then after amendments are made or voted upon, we're going to move. We're going to vote on that resolution. So we're going to do your two for two against speeches and then start voting on that resolution. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. So amendments are not necessary, although um, amendments are not necessary. So uh, you don't need to do them, but I know that some stuff in each individual resolution is a little bit like not perfect or not, not perfect. So um, amendments can be done. There will be time for questions just for this education. Um, just for this education resolution. So I would smile upon a motion for like a five minute, thir five minute, three minute Q and A session for this EAF resolution. So that would be five minutes for presenting and three minutes for Q&A. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Motion for the five minute, three minute Q&A, I believe. Okay, that's all the motions that I'll be taking. Um, please vote yes or no. This clearly passes. I will now put five minutes on the clock and you guys have five minutes to present. Thank you. So for the uh, Education Awareness and Funding Act, we are urging the World Health Organization and other nations to adopt school curriculum surrounding mental health awareness. And this will be done by recommending the creation of mental health curriculum for primary and secondary schools. We are aiming towards educating students about mental health services that are available and addressing possible misconceptions about mental illness and suicide prevention, where many people may be fearful about talking about mental health. We will also be creating this program that promotes uh, destigmatizing mental health illnesses and services in communities through a program which is optional. It would be a year long program once a month, consisting of webinars and counseling and countries themselves will be in charge of the specific curriculum, which depends on which what each country has to offer based on how much money they would be able to put into this program. And this will be a gradual phasing in of mental health uh, recommended education in the school curriculum. This would help mitigate possible backlash, and this would be efficiently targeted towards all students. And um, we, as a World Health Organization, we will make sure to incorporate everyone and uh, in our solution. And we are encouraging the reaching out in regards to mental disorders and integrating suicide prevention into this curriculum, such as suicide prevention hotlines and resources. Um, we are recommending a team to be made up of health professionals that would 
collaborate with healthcare um, locations as, as well as schools. Latvia. Um, okay. Um, we also want to extend mental health resources to both rural and developed areas just so that they can receive the help they need. We're going to do this by encouraging the establishment of clinics in rural areas. And we want to send specialists to these areas to train any existing healthcare specialists or healthcare workers in rural areas. Uh, we believe that by educating these doctors, we can provide the help uh, community members of rural and um, third developing country citizens need. Um, a third thing that we want to do is to spread public awareness about the stigma around mental health um, through a global committee the WMHC, also known as the World Mental Health Committee. This committee would, um, so members of this committee would um, be in charge of traveling around the globe, especially to less urban areas to campaign and educate. And they would also host annual and biannual events aimed towards destigmatizing and educating mental health. And along with that, they're in charge of technology as um, we are a very technological world these days. And they would use available technology to create social media challenges, social media campaigns, and um, inform the public through podcasts, live blogs, and other articles. And along with that, we'll create a website to target the younger generation that has graphics, um, games to um, enrich their learning and knowledge about mental health. Um, and also in order to move forward with the integration of mental health education and school curriculum, um, funds are needed, which will be obtained from um, the World Health Organization, partnerships with various NGOs, donations from private companies and donors, <laughs> Um, public and nonprofit funding from more developed countries, which would be allocated to mental health research and resources. And also uh, we're gonna be securing funding through grants and donations from, the, from organizations such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, and many more. Our plan works to provide incentives for students to pursue careers in mental health care by implementing scholarships for those working towards such careers. A version of this solution has been highly successful at both NYU and Washington University in St. Louis. NYU offering full ride scholarships and Washington University offering half full ride to half its students have both seen increases in applications to their med schools and have also been able to expand their student body a result that has also been witnessed at many German institutions. This solution aims to address the critical shortage of mental health care professionals in our world. We urge other nations to join us and vote for this plan because a vote for the EAF is a vote for a safer, healthier, and happier world. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll put three minutes on the clock for Q&A. Please raise your hand. Um, if you let countries decide how much effort they want to put into mental health resources, wouldn't the gap between developed and developing countries just grow wider and in fact worsen the quality compared to the improved status quo? Well, there would be a set of guidelines that we would put in as in like we have already said that this would be a once a month program. Um, so we aren't gonna leave them like hanging like with complete control over everything. Like there's still gonna be a set of things put in but we can't force all countries, some which may not have the funds to do this to put in an immense amount of money into this program if they simply can't afford it, especially during coronavirus. Okay. Um, any other questions? Ireland. Uh, wouldn't a more generalized 
uh, replicable program be more efficient than allowing countries to develop their own programs in response to mental health issues? Um, can I ask the chair to ask Ireland by programs, does he mean the curriculum that we just mentioned? Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Say that again? He means the curriculum. And can Ireland repeat his question? I'm so sorry. Yeah, go ahead. So the, the um, resolution mentioned uh, individual countries being responsible for developing their own uh, like curriculums, uh, I, I think. Uh, could you expand more on, um, on why that's more beneficial than a general program? Um, so obviously during the resolution, we didn't wanna go super in depth on like every single thing the curriculum would mention because that would just take up so much time. But essentially, there are certain things that the curriculum has to go over, like types of mental health, suicide prevention, and really the main topics of what really what mental health is. And um, doing so, then they can create how much they want to like, how in depth they want to go. Like obviously, there's a certain amount they have to go over, but they can go more in depth. They can um, they can talk about when they want to implement it, how they want to implement it, who is going to teach it. Obviously, like teachers or do they want other things it's mainly just guidelines the resolution has but then in depth it would probably would be like everything Ivan, do you have another question um yeah uh regarding um uh, free scholarships for students uh um studying to become psychiatrists how would uh, this resolution deal with a, a massive influx of students seeing the opportunity uh, and not having to pay college tuition, which is incredibly high right now? Uh, how would they deal with an influx of people attending those schools and how would they maintain a high standard for psychiatrists in this area? Um, so, real quickly, just answer the question. Okay, so the purpose of S Who. It, it's a program designed mostly for developing countries. It's not necessarily applicable to you know countries that have the funds already. Um, and those these are um, it, it applies to countries that don't have the funds to just you know say hey you can go um, to medical school you don't have to pay a thing. It. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, we're running out of time for the Q and A. So um, chair interjection for example when Ireland mentioned like there's no base case you can make an amendment on that if you want to when you move into the limbo but um yeah so now the chair would highly smile upon a motion to move into voting box Molly. Motion to move into voting block. Okay, that's all the motions that I will be accepting right now. Please raise your hand. Or please vote yes or no. Reminder on procedural items, everyone must vote. This clearly passes. Um, we have now entered voting block. So during voting block, no one is allowed to leave this room and I will also not let anyone enter this room. Um, that's a little bit weird when it's online, but um, yeah, we have now entered voting block. So firstly, we're going to vote on the resolutions in the order they were received. So- um, Wait, wait, and no, amendments. Oh, yes. So the first, Resolution that we we received, I believe, is building block. Right, Shion. Yes. So now, what we'll do is, um, I think it's simpler if we do it this way. So we're gonna focus on each resolution individually. So first, we will entertain any amendment for the building block resolution. So if you don't know what an amendment is, an amendment is a change to a resolution that any member of the committee can propose. And if all the sponsors of the resolution agree that this amendment uh, should be added to the resolution, it is considered a friendly amendment and we're just gonna add it directly to the resolution. 
However, if the sponsors of the resolution do not um, agree with this amendment, what we'll do is we'll have the we'll have um, an individual speak one uh, will we'll speak for the amendment and then speak against the amendment and then we'll have an entire committee vote and if the majority of the committee endorses the amendment then the amendment will be added to the resolution regardless of whether or not the um, sponsors would like it in the resolution however if it fails then the amendment will not be added to the resolution um, and this type of amendment is called an unfriendly amendment um, and what we'll do right now is we'll entertain any amendments or, or so any changes that you guys would like to make to the building block resolution. Um, so please well, um, message. Really quickly, oh. as the chair, like just how procedure works, I do have to read this resolution out loud. So um, I'm just really gonna quickly do that. Committee who block, um, resolution name, building block sponsors, Kosovo, Chile, Argentina, preambulatory clauses, acknowledging the need for mental health services in developing countries, keeping in mind the high religious population in these countries, promoting educational care about the issues and stigma around mental health, understanding the need for accessible mental health care, operative clauses, establishes a mental health unit focusing on developing areas, consistently uses a rapid situation assessment, updates the public and increases education on mental health, advocates for a mental health task force, expands access to mental health programs and services in LEDCs, Creates a working infrastructure and establishes a preventive measures, improves coordination between practitioners and other community partners during treatment and re reintegration, defines the infrastructure dealing with this crisis, including facilities expanding to rural areas, collects funds from ministries of health and justice, Department of Health and Social Welfare, health funders, European Commission, welcome, donor country governments, retools the ro roles of mental health professionals to accommodate for what is lacking the workforce, excessive professionals in an aspect of the workforce will be encouraged to work where workers are lacking incentivizes the transfer of caregivers in urban areas to rural areas where they may be more useful, provide special care to victims of war, PTSD, or other mental trauma, supports religious institutions, spreads awareness about mental health care in religious institutions, encourages health care availability, reach out to people that look in need, ensures that people have access to remote mental health services regardless of religious background, example, reform of Kosovo's asylum, transform into the center of integration and rehabilitation, if remote isn't available, then mental health services in rural areas should also be available. Offer specialized training for religious mental health professionals. Training can be beneficial to attracting people in need to mental health care. Training and promotion will let everyone know that mental health is available to all. Dedicates funding to NGOs in order to implement reform more efficiently. Collects funds from NGOs, zero loan interest programs, government agencies. Creates a mental health awareness campaign directed toward youth. Educates about stigma surrounding mental health. Uh, explains the mental health situation in rural areas and what it looks like urges countries into assessing their mental health situation and consider long-term reform, encourages the countries into developing more infrastructure for dealing with mental health. Okay, um, now that I've read the resolution, we will um, now accept motions for any amendments. If there are no amendments, then we will move into 242 against speeches and then vote. Um, was 242 against ever specified during- Oh, um, you guys- should motion that that should be motion uh can we just do something really quickly and pretend like we're not in mode uh, voting block and molly can you repropose your motion with some sort of two for two against things so we can formalize it in the procedural doc yeah sure um move in motion to move into voting block with two for two against uh, thank you. uh and how much speaking time would you um yeah one minute for one against Okay, so uh, Anna, can we explain what voting block is and then uh, vote on the motion? Um, so voting block is when we accept amendments, make two, four, two again speeches on individual resolutions and then start to vote on them. This is where if you're present, then you can choose to abstain from voting on your resolution. But if you click present and voting when they're doing roll call, then you must vote on this resolution. Um, during Resolution voting, I will check to make sure that everyone is voting. So if you're not voting, then like you must be abstaining. Um, yeah, Shine, feel free to add anything. Um, yeah, and also uh, I don't, I think everyone has, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but everyone has a copy of every single resolution. So uh, I don't think we need to read them out. Uh, oh, sorry, the, I just thought that was procedure. I'm pretty sure that's procedure for the conference, I think, too. 
but yeah, we don't have to do that if you guys. All right, so we're gonna pretend like we've already gone through that first resolution because we have, and then, yeah, so I guess what Anna said, so we're gonna pretend like this motion already passed because it did, we just amended it kind of. So we're gonna assume it passed and then just say, um, now we will uh, accept any amendments on uh, this first uh, building block resolution. So if you have any amendments, please either private message me or Anna. Yeah, private that, message me and then um, we'll go through. And if we don't, then we'll just move straight into the two, four and two against. Okay, that was. Okay, seeing as I have not gotten any messenger messages for amendments, we will now be going into two, four, and two against speeches. Um, please raise your hand if you'd like to speak for. Um, you're just giving a one minute speech in favor of the building block resolution. So if you were a sponsor of this resolution or if you wrote a decent amount of it, this is where you're supposed to explain why this resolution should pass. So please raise your hand if you want to speak for this resolution because we do need speakers for it. Cosmo, whenever you're ready. As Kosovo is a developing country itself, it makes sure to focus on the problems that developing countries face when dealing with mental health. Many developing countries have a strong religion, religious beliefs, as, as well as all the other countries in the building block. Because our religion um, beliefs are so strong, we know that it would be really unrealistic, unrealistic to just assume that all countries would be secular after this resolution. Um, we discussed and we, and as a block, we made sure that our resolution didn't directly contradict with any other resolution. And we have had signatories and support from some people in each different block. So vote for us if you would like religious peace. Okay, thank you, Delegate. I uh, will be taking one more speaker for this resolution. I think procedurally we would take someone against right now before we go for a second. Oh, okay. Um, please raise your hand if you, are, if you want to give an against speech. And um, since I'm not seeing that many hand raises, Molly, are you okay if I amend this to just one for and one against? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Okay, now we're just going to be taking a speaker against. We need someone to speak against this resolution. Or at least, all right, Molly, go for it. Go ahead. Good afternoon, everybody. The purpose of the WHO is not to maintain religious peace, but to ensure a safe and happy and healthy world for everybody. Unfortunately, the building block resolution does not do that. It, it does not ensure equal access to mental health care for everybody. It only lines the pockets of private companies. We, in order to ensure that mental health care is provided for everybody, we urge you not to, to vote against the building block resolution. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Um, we will now vote on this um, building block resolution. What we're gonna do is you're gonna do the green for yes, um, red for no. And if you are to abstain, um, then if you click on more, you can see like the blue thumbs down emoji thing. So. Green for for, red for against, and if you want to abstain, just do like a blue thumbs down. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, if you abstain, do you abstain from all? Um, no, just this one. Okay, thanks. 
And again, if you voted, if you voted, said present and voting at the beginning, you must vote for or against. If you said just present, then you have the option of abstention. Yes. Reminder, everyone needs to vote. Even if you are abstaining, you must, like, um, you must signal that you're abstaining. How many people do we have? Okay, so everyone's voting. We have no one abstaining, 16 for and nine against. So this resolution does pass. Clapping is in order. Good job. Um, good job, everyone. Now we will be doing the care resolution. So since um, we can just like not, I don't really want to read it out, so we can just not do that. Um, I will now be taking someone for a four speed. Um, and just clarification, is there any uh, amendments for this resolution? Okay, yeah, that's what I expected. <laughs> okay, so no amendments. Um, Anyone for the four speed? Monica. Thank you. The CARE Act encompasses multiple issues relating to mental health and addresses the issue from both a global and a community standpoint. We acknowledge the special circumstances of COVID-19, which is unique to our resolution, in addition to the issues of destigmatizing mental health through education and community outreach that have appeared in other resolutions. We have achieved the best of both worlds by emphasizing the importance of religious leaders who are trusted by their community and the role they play in mental health and simultaneously stressing the separation of church and state. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Um, now I'll be taking an against speech. Just a reminder that if no one speaks against, then this resolution will automatically pass. So, so if you do want to speak, if you do want to see this resolution go up for a vote, then we suggest that you speak, even if you will vote for it or else this resolution will automatically pass. France. Thank you. While France does recognize that the CARE Act is well-intentioned, it is also alarmed by the rel religious and community outreach portion of the resolution. France believes that this is a move in the wrong step to, in a world where nations must achieve uh, religious freedom. Allowing governments to influence religious institutions opens up the possibility in the future that government programs may manipulate religious leaders in hopes of political favors. France believes that religious religion and state must be separated at all costs. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Um, with that, we will now vote on this resolution. Again, green for yes, red for no, and then the blue thumbs down if you want to abstain. This um, okay, uh, one, two people aren't voting, but that's fine. This motion clearly passes. Clapping is in order. Good job. La our last resolution is the education resolution. We will now be taking one for and one against speech. Molly, go ahead. Good afternoon. As the WHO, our goal and purpose is to ensure the safety and health of the people. And that's why it is imperative that, EAF, that the EAF resolution passes. The EAF is just like our lovely chairs. Perfect. This resolution addresses the problems that come along with the multiple facets of the mental health crisis. EAF works to educate the youth on the importance of mental health and destigmatizes mental health care. 
EAF also aims to ensure equal access to mental health care for everyone, regardless of whether they are rich or poor, urban or rural. Our resolution also provides an efficient solution to the shortage of mental health care workers by creating incentives for students to pursue careers in mental health care. We urge other nations to join us and unite and vote for this plan because a vote for the EAF is a vote for a safer, healthier, and happier world. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. I will now be taking an against speech. Ireland. The delegation of Ireland recognizes the topics that, are, that were brought up by the delegation of Mali, but the delegation of Ireland disagrees. This, re, uh, this resolution draws dozens of funds away from more pressing issues in, to fund scholarships. These over, uh, it also is not perfect in that it does not emphasize the importance of community support centers that provide so much support for, sub, uh, for communities and for people who need help and reaching out. This program is waste resources and should not be voted for. They uh, should be voted no for. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. With that, we will now vote. Um, green for yes, red for no, and the blue thumbs down for green. Okay, everyone must vote. It's really close right now. Oh, okay. This motion unfortunately does not pass. Um, okay, yeah, it does not pass. Um, with that, I will now, um, the chair would smile upon a motion to exit voting block and I know one person is like waiting to be let in so after we exit voting block then I can let people in. So any motion? Romania. Motion to exit voting block. That is in order. Um, that's all the motions I'll be taking. Please vote for or against. This motion clearly passes. We have now exited voting block. Um, yeah, with that, um, I will be taking any points or motions on the floor. I would smile upon a motion to end debate. Jamaica. Motion to end debate. Cool. Any other motions or points on the floor right now? Um, France, do you have a point of motion? Okay, I will take that as a note. Um, we will vote on this motion. Please vote yes or no. Motion clearly passes. We have now ended debate. Yay. Clapping is in order. Okay, so I believe that we do have a feedback form, which I think Amy will send into the chat right now. Um, if you guys like, we can do fun one since it doesn't end until four, we can like do superlatives or we can just end it. It's up to you guys. Can we get a yes or no in the participants bar if you guys wanna stay and do superlatives. Also, if you wanna leave right now, that's also up to you. But if you want to stay and do superlatives, too. Oh, wait. Yeah. Actually, we'll vote on whether or not we're going to do superlatives. But after that, we will also be doing chair feedback. Oh, that's true. OK, so I just put a tiny URL in the chat. I think it should work. It should lead you to a feedback form that we would appreciate. Oh, wait. Um, OK, guys, that's great. Yeah, so please fill out the feedback form. We would really appreciate it so we can know what we can approve upon. Um, yeah. And while you guys are filling that out, we can take suggestions on what you guys want to do.
Yeah, so I, I know this is like a lot of you are pretty new here. So the way superlatives work is what will happen is let's say, I don't know, let's say Frank gave some really solid speeches. So I would say best speaker, I'd, I'd, I'd motion this, like I'd, I'd motion to nominate Frank for best speaker. Then someone says, actually, well, Amy gave the best speeches. So then someone would motion and say, I nominate Amy for best speaker. And then we vote yeah. on who the best speaker was, who's best dressed, who has the best Zoom background or whatever. Okay. Normally we don't do, you can do like most likely to become president and- Yeah, do the fun ones. Do like- yeah, Don't, don't likely, do best speaker, that's kind of lame. Most likely yeah, to like write the next communist manifesto. Yeah, most <laughs> likely to nuke the committee, you know, something like yeah. that. Start just put, put your superlatives in the chat. To everyone, send them to everyone. So you can put what you are, uh, and if you guys have any uh, nominations, put the superlative, like which superlative it is, and then the person next to it. So most likely to start World War Three. So does, do we have any, any nominations? nominations? Most likely overthrow the chairs. I was scared that was gonna happen. Yeah. Again. Most likely to start a religious crusade. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We can roll with that. I am I'm All right. to it. Do we have any nominations for any of these three highly coveted awards? These are extremely integral to your success in the future. So we yes. do, yes. We do I nominate Ireland for the second one. All right. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty. What's the second we did one? did ignore him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, any other nomination? So oh, Latvia for most likely to start a crusade. Interesting. All right. Good on, you guys, you guys oh, yeah, that's true. Latvia's got the religion stuff all like locked down. <laughs> oh yeah, can we just put like the entire religious block for the last one? Yeah. <laughs> um, I totally forgot who was in that block, so you guys. Yeah, who, who was the most... Oh, it was Kosovo, wasn't it? I, I nominate Kosovo. No, it was Latvia with the most religious one. Really? Oh, I, I don't know. I just remember Kosovo. Latvia straight up asked one in Q&A. Every single moderated caucus, they wanted to do religion. Which one? <laughs> Come on, guys, we need nominations. Saudi Who's most likely yeah. to start World War Three? Who was the most nuclear person in your block? Expose them. Yeah. I'm joking. You yes, can also nominate nice yourself if you want. That's... Yeah, but pe people totally don't look down on that, but you know. I nominate Shion for what? Luke, what do you nominate me for? Oh, we're worth it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Luxembourg for the second one. Most likely to overthrow the chairs. All right, see, now we're exposing people. This is what we like. You can come up with new categories as well. Don't be afraid oh, I can that. see Luxembourg. We should do most right. likely to sneak yes. someone behind their back. Because I know there's some drama going on. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we can do like what, most likely to implode a block. Yeah. Who I is the like, or you can say like, who is the biggest power down in your committee? You know, stuff like that. Call out your fellow delegates. Yeah, the infamous sponsor fight. That was very yeah. <laughs> entertaining. We, we, we were paying attention to that. I'll, that's all I'll say. We were paying a bit too much attention to that, let's be honest. Yeah, that's fair. But it's okay. It's okay. We the, oh, we yeah. <laughs> the pick a number. The, that was a big brain move. She just went one up. Most like I just got most likely to become a dictator. Okay, uh, we have okay. a lot of we have a lot of categories for these coveted awards now. I just got Reno for power though. Who? <laughs> you. <laughs> Me. That is so true. You guys can Sorry. pee on the chairs if you guys are embarrassed about your nominations. Yeah. That's how we'll get more engagement. Just PM the chair. Who you guys? Hey, think? who woke up ten minutes before? Probably not Ian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Probably half, half the half the chair, half of the staff for that matter. Molly, I'm pretty sure Ian was. Okay. Yeah. 
But I mean, this time it wasn't even his Zoom room. Uh, Iceland, what do you want to nominate Ian for? Just everything. Just yeah, all of them. Just like can we just three. nominate Ian for God Emperor? Bet. All right. Can we just unanimously pass that Ian is God Emperor? Is that like? Okay, who out here wants to start a socialist dictatorship? <laughs> we might need to talk with you. The one about free tuition. Oh. Oh God. Um, hey, you know what? I I think Uncle Sam needs to have a long, big long talk with you. I'm intrigued. All right, so we have like one or two for each category. Who is most likely to implode a block? Come on, guys, we had an entire block implosion during the thing and we can't Romania. think of one person. I see Romania. I got a private message. <laughs> <laughs> Maui. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, what, uh, I'm gonna delete this one. What other, um, Superlatives. Which one had the education for everyone? Was it Molly and Romania? Which room had tension? I think like it was the breakout room. Like they, oh my god, there was like silence for like two minutes. It was so awkward. <laughs> Where your block was this? This was like room two, because like we were trying to figure out the most people. Yeah, because we were trying to figure out a sponsor for like the the president. All right, just, just put down block two for yeah, just the sponsor. entirety of block two. Whoever was. Hey, I solved the problem. I did the pick a number. Yeah, with pick a number. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> and then Anna got mad at me. She's like, "Don't do that again." <laughs> and I exposed. I just thought that Romania had a really smart strat in that game. She just waited for the other person and just went one up. <laughs> Finland for socialism. No, who is the one proposing free stuff? Whoever proposes free stuff is automatically a communist. That's <laughs> <laughs> how it works now. That's how it works. Yes, Nothing it's always it's high. always worked like this. The air you breathe should cost money. That's what. Yes, that's right. Cotton. That's that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> All right, so we have a decent amount of. Oh, Kosovo. Most, le no, most likely to get like left, left on last on her. Oh, boy. Oh, that one is <laughs> painful. Just put them on. Left on her. Yeah, that one cuts deep. Okay. Okay, we have a nomination. We have a nomination for Molly for most con for social. Oh, we already got that. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, Ireland for dictator. I can see that. Um, Kosovo, since you proposed the category, do you have a nomination for getting left on her? You can say it out loud. Or PM if it's fine. Is uh, there... Put Romania for dictator. Someone sent me that. And me. <laughs> and also someone said, wait, but that's not a superlative, so how can I put it on there? Are there no power delegates? I feel like well, actually, I, feel I, got, like I got the only. I, I'm not even a delegate, and I got. I was the only nomination for power. Else, so. he was literally I absent for half the committee. I'm not nomination. even a delegate. <laughs> he was absent for half the committee. <laughs> no, hey, come on. It was one hour. Literally, I'm one joking. Hour. I'm joking. Most likely to be the right hand person to a dictator. Put Ian. Right, Who's it? Ian's going to be the right hand man to the dictator. No, I, we already the said right -hand Ian for man. God Emperor. Okay, that, that's unanimous consent. Ian for God Emperor. Okay, this is just his second in command in these situations. That's, that's, that's what this is. Oh no, I just got some one that said most likely to say something embarrassing and not realize they were unmuted. Did that happen? Yeah, did that happen? <laughs> I think everyone was okay with the muting. Oh, freak. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you put an asterisk in the slur word. Yes. <laughs> yeah, our officer team is totally competent. We know what we're doing. You guys can relax on that, okay? Okay, I think that shit, no World War Three stuff, only Shion. Guys, come on, I need some competition. No, no, did Kosovo say something for the unmuted, like say something without- Oh, Anna as dictator. 
Ireland for World War Three. Dude, Ireland can't catch a break. <laughs> <laughs> Just every single one. No, it's not made for you are a violent dictator who's going to start World War Three. That's my goal right now to vote him. All right. I think we have a decent amount of nominations for some of them. If you guys have any other nominations, you know, send them in chat or just yell them out loud. Yeah, don't be afraid to just unmute. All right. Okay. See, now we get all all the, the nominations. Now now that the ice is broken, everyone is. <laughs> that's good, that's good. All right, and are you ready to start on the first one? Yeah, we can vote on the first one, but just a side note, Shion went to s -Monk and they started a war on Korea, so um, take oh. that as you will. Um, Literally all of Shion's solutions involve nuking someone. Hey, hey, hey. That, 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 that's, that's the Shion I know, okay. <laughs> If he goes to a committee and he says, like, you know, oh, let's not new people, I'd like, who killed Shine and who are you? All right. Okay, um, Ray, um, can you just do the green yes button if you want to vote for Shine? Yeah, okay, so everyone who wants to vote for me for most likely the World, World War Three, please put it up. Remember, you only have one vote, so, you know. Oh, it went oh, okay, from never mind. five to just, ten just in, like, two your one, Just use your one vote to vote for me, I guess. Okay. All right, guys. Wait, Will I win the war? Hey, hey Anna, know. make me co-host again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need um, to see the vote tallies. Okay. All right, 13, thirteen. for me as most Ooh, like. What about I want, Ireland? I want to see. Yeah, I want to see everyone. Ireland. You can. Right. Can you vote for You can more vote than twice. One? You can yeah, vote. You can vote, vote right. twice. You can vote twice. Sure. Ireland got. Seven, seven, six, 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 six seven, seven. Six. So we'll, we'll say seven because it keeps going yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Whoever's doing Molly? that, we don't like that. <laughs> and don't, don't flicker it. Don't be like Nevada. <laughs> no, one person <laughs> voted for Molly. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> one, one person. What about right. Romania? Oh, okay. Romania oh. getting some traction. Six, seven, eight. eight. Ooh, I have competition. Nine. Okay, let's just do nine. We'll say nine. So I guess I'm most likely to start World War Three. A pause is definitely in order. Yes. Molly was no, smart no. when she said that the chairs are perfect because she's kissing out yes. to Shia now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he will oh. bomb me. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, most likely to overthrow the chairs. Uh, you can do green if you're voting for Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a vast majority. 15. 15. We are at 15 peak. I've never seen this committee so united. My heart melts. <laughs> um, Luxembourg, no. Wait, I wasn't here during most of the voting block. Which ones passed and which didn't? I think one passed Trump. except for like the mildly socialist one. Okay, so everything's the last one, all right. <laughs> okay, um, next we have Latvia. Oh, Latvia, you're safe. Oh, one. Oh, sorry. Most likely it's our religious crusade, guys, it's Latvia. Come on, yeah, I'm voting, I'm voting Latvia on I'm that voting one. Latvia. <laughs> yeah, man's like every mod, Latin, like your religion. Okay. Aw. Uh, okay. I guess it's going to be close, but watch this. The entire committee is going to vote okay. against the chairs. Well, right. he, I think she motioned for a religious moderated caucus three times. Okay. Most, okay. Cosvo. Let's see all the votes pour in. Eight, nine. Twelve. All right. You know, I'll just put on the bandwagon. Possible. <laughs> Hop on the bed. <laughs> okay, most likely to implode a block. All right, this one is a very touchy subject. You know, I think I think the chair should refrain from voting on this one. Yeah, I'm not. Wait, I, I yeah. didn't even vote on any of the other ones. I just let everyone yeah. else vote. 
I'm gonna refrain on this one. Only four votes. Be honest, you guys. <laughs> Be honest. Come on, we all. Oh, okay, okay. Let's okay. Go. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Committee's over. Not gonna Committee's lie. over. It doesn't matter. I'm myself. Oh, that's. You're crazy. not gonna see these people in person for a couple of months at least. <laughs> Molly. What about Molly? Where's only three? Okay, cool. Why can't it be both Romania and Molly? Like, why can't we vote on them? You can do that. You because can do that. I you can vote twice. Okay, okay. Motion You're for not, a joint. Not twice. I feel like they're it's different, you know? like okay. both of them. No, no, no. Motion for a joint passage of both uh, Romania and Molly. All those in favor, please put green check mark. Joint passage mark. Okay. Yo, I, I was so peaceful. Passes. I preached peace. Okay, peace is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and then block two. Wait, why is block two on here? Did they do anything? Uh, I think it was just that people thought there was a kind of... I don't know. It was that. Crime. I think Block two okay. was a crime scene. Okay, biggest power yeah. delegate. I I'll vote for myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've, I've ne in, 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 in my committees, I've never actually won a superlative. You know what? Just for that, I'll give you a pity vote. <laughs> Thank you. I was, I, was, I was fetching for pity votes at that. I, I, okay. I'll give you a pity vote. <laughs> All right. Wait, you've never been Let's... nominated or you've never, never been? Never even been. Never, I've been nominated once and I've never won anything. Oh, guys, what a struggle. I can't imagine. I, I, I think like in every other committee, I've been nominated to like nuke something. Yeah. So. I, I, I'm at 10, by the way, Anna. Molly, I hate Avinav, so I think we have one okay. person. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ian, uh, you know you've been nominated I'll unanimously you've as been... God Emperor? Yeah. No, you've been nominated as Dictator's right hand. No, also yeah. God Emperor. You've just been selected as God Emperor. Well, I think Shion nominated Ian and nobody argued with him. Yeah, because... <laughs> All who right. would argue with this? All right, let's, <laughs> let's, let's vote Jamaica now for Howard L. I'm gonna reset I would Jamaica vote. for power now. Okay, one. Okay, what about oh three? Okay, what about most likely to become a dictator? Just Don't hold same. back, guys. You'll never see these people again. You got you guys That's get correct. two votes unless you go to the same school with them. In which case, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> two. You 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 get two votes. Both what about right? Iceland? Okay. Sorry. Iceland. No one thinks Iceland is, will become a dictator. Okay, what about Ireland? Okay, here come the votes. <laughs> 11. 12. 13. 13. I'll, put, I'll, be, I'll put 13. Okay. What about Romania? That's voter fraud. Wait, can we vote twice? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah you can vote, vote as many, yeah, just can vote vote as many times as you want. It's fine. Okay, no, no, yeah, no one's actually fraud. counting. Let's be now honest. Now this is voter fraud. Okay. Yeah, this is, yeah, it's just voter Nine. fraud. It's okay. So, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, wait, uh, please everyone... vote me so then Ian can be my right hand man. I can tell him. <laughs> <what he's> <laughs> I want to be Ian's right hand man. Is going to, uh, sorry, Kyle's right hand man is going to be Ian. That's what I want. But Ian is also God Emperor, so I don't know how that works. He's like both above oh, and wait, below. dude, I'm like one away. Please vote me so Ian can be my right hand. I like how <laughs> Ian voted no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got 16. 15. Kyle, you're like the Okay, okay now let's vote. Now let's vote Ian. Oh, Ian voted no. <laughs> I apologize, Ian. Oh, Frank voted no. Interesting. He has 60. Oh, yeah. Okay, All right. Most likely to start a socialist dictatorship. Oh, yeah. If you guys also, if you guys have to go, like, feel free to go. If you want to stay behind. So after this, we're going to do feedback. So yeah. uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put everyone into the waiting room. And then one by one, we'll pull you guys in to do feedback. Or we might do breakout rooms. That might seem more efficient. No, we can do this. We can, yeah. We'll see yeah, we, we can do. just do yeah. what we did last time, which is waiting room. Oh, okay. Um, Finland to be a socialist dictatorship. 
Yeah, because Finland uses guess the number. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That is, that is very You're suspect. You're salty. You went 14 instead of 16. Because 14 is a good and solid number. Why would you use 16? It's just so... It just looks weird. You know Let's be honest. Like. The only reason you lost is because you said the number first. You know so what, you Shion? Just... Nobody asked. <laughs> all right yeah you also, also need to get left on her okay um, that's just painful do we have any other nominations so it's just israel because i'm just getting left on herd right now because you guys aren't <laughs> responding i think that was okay. intentional wow this is this is a personal attack yeah, someone nominated me for this because I've just been personally attacked by every single one of you guys in this committee. Again, committee unity at the wrong places. <laughs> it just says unanimous. <laughs> All right. Okay. We can all do it. Yeah. Anna, we can do a breakout room for feedback, so it's just faster. Um, since, okay, I'm going to stop sharing right now, and I will open one breakout, I'll open three breakout rooms, all the chair will be, all the chairs will be in breakout room one, you guys can join other breakout rooms and just talk if you want, and, um, Interesting. I, can we just put Actually, two can chairs? We just like, put, can we just put? Do all of you guys in, want feedback? Yeah. Wait. wait stay. Stay yeah. on if you want feedback. We can just put yeah, two chairs. Yeah. Otherwise, you can just room. leave right now. We can. We can yeah, put yeah. two chairs in. Oh, please I fill feel out the like form in the chat. The only people who stayed all the time were me, Cheyenne, and Frank. So, fill out the forms um, in chat, please. Hey, come on. I was gone for an hour. Okay. Come yeah. on. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just, just make breakout rooms. We'll discuss there. Don't worry. It's one hour, you guys. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you guys so much for coming. Um, if you, you guys want coming. feedback, if you guys want feedback, be sure to stay behind. If not, you guys can go after you fill out the feedback form. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.